Imagine the Pope inheriting what she pleaded. Now, Kevin and Ness himself that has fought all of this against him. It's his own court town. I think that he was able well, to. Well, let's talk Kevin Arnett. Kevin Arnett. Yeah. yeah, he's in Port Alberni, what I'm in Port Alberni. Yes, yeah, so as much I as... I go to court for claiming to be Christ. Mm. He doesn't time. contact me. No. He's, he's as guilty as, as the ones that's doing it. He's Absolutely, one of them. Absolutely, because it, it could have all stopped then. It could have stopped right then. Yeah. He um, had it at his fingertips. Now, not only that, his secretary, sharing a comment at their site, and his secretary, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know, where... So through his secretary, he had all of the information. He was given our phone number to call us, all kinds of things. The call list was going back almost three years ago now. That's right. The secretary was going, oh my God, oh my God. So he has no excuse. No, so he set the Pope up with the coin who was guilty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all through that action that he's brought. The, the ones that are in the position now, well, I mean, the Queen was in, she, she was in position with Philip. Um, but the current Pope uh, was um, is the one that's taking the rap for all of history, it would seem, in Kevin Arnett's world. Well, the, the checkmate is that uh, Ratzinger is an Israelite. Mm. He's the um, first genuine Israelite that's been on the throne, mm. which is the Vicar of Christ. And what that means is... Oh, huge. <laughs> what that now, means is... No, uh, uh, and it is cracking. Does he do what I would have done? If looking at his record, he's done exactly what I would have done. Yes. Right? What like, we have seen. And he was trying to do it in Pope John Paul II's reign, yeah. who inherited the job from the man he had murdered. Mm. Right? You go look into his history. What was he, 27 years in power? And he did not prosecute one yeah. cardinal or bishop mm. for the child molestation. Now, Ratzinger, I mean, and it is accusing him of being a Nazi war criminal and and all the rest of it. Now, I hope he is. As, as we know, that um, because he, apparently he was a salesman for the gas that was used. Well, yeah, we yeah, that, that, that was Pope John Paul II. That was Pope John. Yeah, but there was no gas anyway. I mean, that that whole. No, they did. They did sell gas. Yeah, yeah, for the but ovens to do the the laundry. For the laundry. And the down and the the de Right. That that that's all been exposed now. It's the so the Pope has a record of how much gas he ordered for the five concentration camps. Because mm. he's now dead. He got shot 942 days into his uh, vicar as Christ, allowing the homosexuals and child molesters mm. in the church to go right. This German comes along, a true Israelite. Simeon. Right? Simeon is what? Simon. Okay. His second name is Aloysius. That's Your my grandfather's, grandfather's name. name. His first name's Joseph. Your father's name. That's right. Joseph and Mary. That's right. And Joseph is called out of Egypt, which is technically now transferred to Rome. Yeah. Right. So I'm calling Joseph out of Egypt. Mm. So we have a race on. We only have one Catholic church to say, yeah, you're Christ, because I'm going to get him out of his plot. We have the same information going to the Armenians, which is an older church, but Ratzinger has inherited the one that was formed in 312. Mm. His name is 312. Mm. <laughs> right? And the Armenian church address is 1101. That's right. So we've got a dead heat. Mm. 
either or both can be the end time witnesses. And are they prepared to go to Jerusalem and be beheaded? Because I'm condemning the Muslims. Iran's in the running seat. That's the true Muhammad message. They got the original letter, right? It's in the front of their Quran. So each bird uh, leaves a message, if you like, that the other birds know where the food is by his flight path or excitement. They pick it all up and they read each other's language, right? So they follow each other to the food, in one way or another. That's all they've got to think about, right? <laughs> they don't have to have a PhD in it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so pretty. Look at me. Mobile phone. I don't know if you took his mobile phone with him. Have you got a message to him? Yeah, I sent him a minute. Let me go check uh, my Facebook and see if he's got that because he should have already. He should already be on campus. Yeah, he just left. He should be boarding. So we have two American end time witnesses mm. that's coming for a marriage. Mm. <laughs> There's a lovely Karen who is trolling for a husband. <laughs> when the time's right. Yeah, she's in no hurry. Right, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> so, um... Ratzinger, whether he likes it or not, he's got a job. <laughs> it's, its job is to tell the truth. Mm. He, he's done exactly what I would have done in his position, and they want him to take the rap for it. Mm. Responsible for the monsters, mm. but his entire um, ministry was to get rid of these bastards. Mm. Get rid of the filth. Get rid of the filth. And he don't like Jews and he don't like Muslims. Mm. <laughs> He's a bit like me. <laughs> no response yet. I don't think he's been back online. So no. I don't know. But you have told him? Yes. But there's no response? Yes. Right. What time was his flight supposed to leave San Francisco? Um, 10.35, they threw the time. How did he get detained or something? Nine, nine. Um, Probably about 10.15. Funny thing, you know... Um, so it's 10 o'clock there. Okay. One of the believers in Texas, Matthew, is it? He, uh is now questioning my judgment on what I'm doing. Mm. You're doing what? <laughs> so he's questioning my judgment, whether it's sort of ethical. I what saw a, that what coming. a check, mate. I saw that coming. <laughs> I that way, it's another lucid <laughs> job, right? I could turn him into a hater overnight. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it, eh? Because Lisa had judged me and uh, I said, you uh, be insolent one more time, you're out of here. <laughs> so she come back, she's out of here. Got that? I always keep my word, right? <laughs> well, this is what the old story, I'm, go I'm going away, I'm going through the cross, I'll be back. Well, otherwise I wouldn't be going to the cross that easy because I set it up. <laughs> I must know what I'm doing.
the flight leaves in 52 minutes, so we can be getting ready to go. Do you know his mobile number? No, I don't know. Yeah. It must be in one of his uh, communications. Well, I never had a phone to be able to call him, so I never really bothered to have it. Well, Scott's probably done it. He did call him Papa Scott, was <laughs> So there's your checkmate. You know he's got it. You don't have to go that about anymore and just take it as a win. <laughs> it's a sort of intellectual, spiritual <laughs> chess game you've been doing. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the Armenians. Wonderful, wonderful people. Paul Anker, one of my favourite singers. I did it my way. He's right there. <laughs> Version. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I have supported the KKK and uh, the Nazis, mm. right, condemned the best Pope, Pope John Paul II, all the proof in the world, 666 and so forth, mm. 942 when he was shot. They've got him buried or entombed in such a way that he can resurrect. Yeah, they, they put him in, because they, they're expecting his soul to occupy the, the next dude. That's right. Uh, they, they've got him in three different coffins. Yeah. Bizarre. You know, that awful, awful, <laughs> that, that tree thing that, uh, <laughs> it's like death. What was the explanation? So, I that? lob in a, re a, a, a German. What's that? I lob in a German. Yeah. An Israelite. And a Polish person isn't. No. Um, the Essenes went to Germany. Yeah, it's an Essene community there from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all of the confusion. <laughs> I was just saying to Ash before, when uh, I went back and I was sitting on the synagogue steps, I had absolutely no idea I'd just come from somewhere else. From, another, from the future. Well, <laughs> well, I was sitting on the steps behind me till there's a bit of a corner. And you weren't thinking, how did I get here? No, I didn't have any, the slightest idea. I was actually just seconds ago in that schoolyard trying to kick the shit out of these two people for calling me a fucking sad you say and mm. a Pharisee. Mm. I was going to kick their guts in. Right? Mm. What kind of kid I was? I was a fucking terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one crossed me. Go from your mother. <laughs> your trainer. <laughs> yeah. I had more fights than Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Fraser combined, defending mm. homosexuals. Mm. I was a fucking tyrant. Never lost. Mm. One hit, bang. It hit like lightning. Mm. I did that to Mickey. Huh? Then he proceeded to kick the shit out of me in his bullish way. Mm. And was cruel. Mm. And he said, I thought you were my father. Mm. I said, I am. And this is how you would treat your father? This is how you would treat your father. So I shook his hand. See you later. And I was a mess of blood. Mm. Cigars here, cigars there. Broken teeth. Bruises down my side. You know? I could have knocked him out in half a second. So my first punch at him was so fast and furious, he blinked and it was there and it, it sort of ruffled his hair as it went past his chin, mm. left hand. Right? Mm. Like, the fucking angel did that. I wasn't going to do anything, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that started him and he demonstrated that he's just signed his own death warrant by hating God. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So I told him who I was. Yeah? Not shit like that. Go put up with it. So the whole family is such a wondrous intermarriage of genetic numbers and funny stories and an incredible uh, portrayals of what they think of me. That's this lunatic uncle. He thinks he's God. Right. But every time they open their yap, they prove me. And they aren't smart enough to see it. 
got this in my family, I'll back with it. <laughs> oh dear me. I was cured my sister of breast cancer, and then she miraculously is cured, right? And then she says it was the fucking doctor who done it. That's the guy who wasn't going to cut her tits off. Mm. <laughs> mm. I said, I did it, you fuck with. <laughs> then, when I was at her son's house, and he shut me up from talking to his daughter, a lovely kid. She's always been my favourite little sweetheart in the family. And, because uh, she's all grown up. But he still dominates us. When I was getting, she was asking me questions that was getting into what I'm actually doing and what I'm trying to achieve, because she's been following me, right? And because, fuck with, he shuts her up. It's from that house I phoned my sister, and she didn't want to see me anymore. <laughs> Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get to go, right? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> Complete abomination. Mm -hmm. So I've got to expose my family as what they are. And the worst abomination is Ireland, my first wife. Total expert. A complete and utter heartless slut. Sacrifice her own children, the love of the father. Who happened to be God on the side? So now I've got to kill him in Easy. <laughs> What's that thing? <laughs> what, from this morning? Of course it was. Not what the it was a good show, wasn't it? Oh, th this morning, yeah, but the echoes <laughs> come back and... What's that thing? It's all set up. <laughs> <laughs> Sit by a motorcycle on the fucking report. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where the hell did that come from? Is that what you told him? <laughs> of course not. Motorcycle. Of course not, I said to my son, run up my ass in Melbourne when I picked this ute up, because oh. I put it on the YouTube before oh, I went so up there. And she's talking to me back and forth. She said, how come you know all this stuff? I said, well, I've got the eyes like you on her. <laughs> I suffer from it. Yeah, so I can't it's fucking it's help it. Run over my motorcycle. You know. Because I don't know. So obviously she wasn't listening to you, because you are telling all this other stuff, and she's just going, oh. And, and when she comes out, it, it, it is great big smile, Brian. <laughs> you know, like little Indian. I told her I was out. in Salon the, the, the day she was born. Yes, I know. <laughs> she goes out of her office, Brian. Her, her whole, you know, demeanour just changes. Brian? 1966. <laughs> in Sri Lanka. It was Colombo in those days. Huh? Mm. That's the camel tigers come from there and all that kind of stuff. All these birds showing up to listen. All right, the show's over. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, what do they call them? Aussie door. <laughs> strine. Huh? What I was just talking then. Strine. Strine. Oh, strine. I was talking strine. strine. He's talking strine. He actually studied it in English in fourth form. Strine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tongue at the top of the... Actually, my mother told me how they do it. They've worked out it's because Australians don't use their top lip. They don't engage their top lip, so they get that... Well, it's funny you should say that. Black nasal sound, little top sound, <laughs> something like that. When I first went to Canada, I was talking to this lady at a bit of a get-together, and uh, she said, I've been listening to you speak. And she said, you roll your eyes. No, <laughs> she says, you don't roll your eyes. Yes. I said, only when I walk. <laughs> <laughs> she remember that. <laughs> this is the same character that comes well, back as Christ, well, right? You don't roll your ass. You don't roll your what a ass. story. You don't roll your ass because your top lip doesn't engage. <laughs> you have to be standing still like that. According to the executionist. <laughs> you have to be standing still like that, so you don't roll your ass. <laughs> Karen was rolling hers really well the other day. She's just standing there. Yeah, 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 yeah,
turn around. Turn around so I get a back shot here. So what's the final message to our German uh, Holy See? Ratzinger. That you've been praying up a storm, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me, help me. Well, he's about to. <laughs> Open the prison gates. That's what it's all about. That's right. For the world. Oh, he broke his wrist? Broke his wrist. He knocked out a Jew. Hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? Ratzinger's got a broken wrist. Has he? Oh. The Jew is going to become a Muslim. I pushed him over the edge, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got a... Well, tell the story of your communication with uh, uh, the fellow in the uh, church in Armenia. Well, as the world knows, uh, just after Christmas time, I <laughs> spent a couple of days faxing the, um, what, 11 pages to the Armenian consulate in various nations. Uh, I, I, I think from memory I got through to 18 consulates. So I faxed the announcement that uh, the Christ is here and chosen the Church of Armenia, or the Armenian nation as the Church of Philadelphia and inheriting the kingdom, of course. Who I couldn't get through was to the church in Etchmiaspin, which is the mother church that is where Gregory the Illuminator had a dream and Jesus descended as a man and struck the ground with a hammer and told Gregory to build the mother church there which he did it was completed in uh, 30 oh, it was completed in about 303 but that all happened in 301 and that's when um, the nation became entirely Christian um, but I couldn't get through now I know I tried Oh, many, many times over different days to get through to the church. Always it would be cut up, go nowhere. So I didn't try again until yesterday when I thought I'll, I'll give it one last shot. So instead of going through Outlook Express where they were sitting unsent, I did it all again from my personal email and got an acknowledgement that it went through so then I thought well I'll follow this up so I just dialed the phone number and got through to a voice on the other end who put me through to another voice English speaking cut off after about 30 seconds so I called back even though the Christ told me not to oh fuck him he says <laughs> so I disobeyed him and called back and ended up speaking to um, the secretary for his holiness who is uh, Father Sibian I think the name is um, I think what he was concerned about because as he was listening to me he was speaking quite good English he asked me if I spoke Armenian and so I'm sorry I don't as I was trying to explain to him the content of the um, document I sent his holiness he, he, was, he asked me uh, is this about trouble with the church in Sydney, Australia. And I go, oh, no, 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 no trouble. Oh, good news, good news for the whole church, all of Armenia, the diaspora around the world, good news. So his 
spirit immediately elevated. And he had, oh, good news. Oh, I, I, I will read <laughs> the email then. <laughs> It was kind of like hiding from, you know, <laughs> oh, I can't talk any more bad news. Um, so with that, uh, I made him promise that he would acknowledge the email so that I would know, and he would take note of all of the contact numbers. He would read it through and make sure his holiness got it. So I sent two more emails after that one, and he acknowledged getting the document that I sent in English, which also included in the body of the email the Shroud of Turin and then your Fizog sitting there looking very shroudy with, uh, in Hebrew, Yahweh all over it and a link to other photographs and then I followed it up with the Go Lightly Marshal and then the Declaration of Notice of Claim and other things. So that's uh, gone to his so we sent this information via this video to Ratzinger. Yes, to, to Joseph Aloysius. Hmm. Hmm. One one one. Three one two. Revelation three one two. Yep. Two four two no two five two zero times ten mm. seventy Hebrew years January eleventh mm. two thousand and thirteen and the Queen has abdicated. Yeah. She did exactly what I told her to do because I said to her I would take all her relatives who are quite insane mm. and put them into a paradise of sorts for them and educate them back to being a human being. Mm. Might kill them. Mm. They're insane, right? Yeah. Born of circumstance beyond their control. Could you imagine? Well, the prison... Well, they're, they're, they're totally demonised. Mm. I mean, the, the de the, all these demons went at the pigs, didn't they? The pigs mm. go to the sea, don't they? Mm. And then they, in the end time, everything is risen from the sea. Mm. That's right. So the pigs are back. Yeah. In occupy the flesh. That's right. And so they feed the world pork. Mm. They know exactly what they're doing. Mm. They're damn guilty and there's no forgiveness. Yeah. So we have the two holy seas announce our let them communicate back and forth. Mm. And we have a ultimate checkmate. Mm. Arrest Obama. Mm. Man's insane. Mm. Mm. We started with two, a little, what, half hour ago. Now there's four. So they're starting to talk to each other. Mm. Next week will be 3,000. I'll have to have bread brand, a little bit of bread up the front of him mine. And the other species, they get on to what they're going. They, they listen to wind flaps and their chatter and excitement and direction, speed. Like a bird won't waste energy, right? So if he's going flat out, he's getting there for a reason like this fellow, see. Very, very wise bird. They're from India. Look at this. <laughs> so this fellow, he follows them around, and this one follows that one around. <laughs> they They've been, they've been following the uh, lorikeets all day. Some of the birds have to hop because their brain, is, brain isn't split. Mm. It's like breakfast could be the one knowing the lawn. 
What's that? So you ordered some rain, didn't you? Yes, we did, didn't we, Karen? Didn't I say to you, be careful what you ask for? Oh, wow. You should have said, a little rain. <laughs> it got flooded out. All right, so I think that's a checkmate. Oh, speaking of which, I better go and check some numbers. <laughs> Lotto numbers? See, what we've done, once again, is get their attention. We put up the videos of the police are going to come arrest her and take her away for fingerprinting, right? Like over my dead fucking body. And that ain't going to happen. <laughs> right? So I'll just warn them beforehand. You come out of here, you're stepping on God territory. I'll fucking eat you. Let's hope they bring their guns, right? Start a shootout. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, this video is including orders to Ratzinger that he is the first Israelite to sit on the bloody throne in the Catholic Church and take it back for God. Because he did exactly what I would have done. Huh? His second name's Aloysius.